Okay. I have a poll. I have a. I have a picture here of um, of an Al Qaeda leader, um, a rebel leader, but he is uh, AQ, uh, and he is one is holding a rocket launcher, and there you have it on the TV, and they are in a U.S. aid tent. What do you make of that one, Sarah? I don't want to laugh about this, but my gosh, this is unbelievable. This this commander, his name is Mujahirin. Uh, he's being watched very carefully. He is an Al Qaeda leader and a commander of the Islamic State of Iraq, Al Sham. And Glenn, just recently, they sent out a fatwa across Syria threatening to cleanse towns and people that were too secular or who didn't follow uh, their strict Sharia law. This is very serious that a USAID tent is being used by this commander for as his central point of command and operations. Now, according to U.S. counterterrorism officials, he is in Syria. We can't verify the authenticity of this photo yet, but according to the people that I've been speaking to, they believe Leave it to be authentic, and uh, we're just going to keep people updated um, at theblaze.com. Okay. I can't verify its authenticity either. It sure looks um, real. And, boy, it, it amazes me how we knew within minutes that it was a stupid movie that somebody made that got everybody killed in Benghazi. Oh. But we can't figure this one out. This, uh, America, this should be on the front page of every newspaper. This is uh, the result of our policy. This is... Uh, if again, if this isn't aiding and abetting the um, the enemy, I don't know what is in a U.S. aid tent holding a rocket launcher, an Al Qaeda mm -hmm. rebel. Congratulations on your foreign policy, America.